Hi, I'm Jake with Specialized Garage Doors here in Salt Lake City and we're going to discuss how to adjust the tension on your garage door opener. The easiest way to set the tension or force on your garage door opener, uh, the first step is go ahead and get a remote handy. Um, once you've got the remote, it'll just make it easier for you to run the door while you're up here doing the whole process. Um, then, then the first step is go ahead and hit the button, bring the door down and physically catch the door to feel how hard it's pushing. Uh, while you're doing that, keep an eye on how, make sure it's not pushing so hard that it's going to bend your door and do any damage. So go ahead and hit the button and then catch the door and feel how hard it's pushing. And you, you, what you're looking for is just enough force to get the door closed but not push so hard it's going to damage your door. So it's about you know, 5, 10 pounds of force before it's going to reverse. If it's, if it's pushing real hard, go ahead and turn that force down a little and we'll show you how to, where to adjust that at. And then it's the same process for going up. Hit the remote on the way up, catch the door and feel how hard it's lifting on you. If it's lifting so hard that it's going to pick up, uh, you know, good 20, 30 pounds of the door, go ahead and turn it down until it's only lifting maybe five or 10 pounds of force. So to make sure your door is reversing correctly off of the off of any obstructions that are on the ground, go ahead and take a, a two by four or equivalent, something an inch and a half thick approximately, and place it in the path of the door. Um, when you run the door down on this, it should reverse off of it without a problem. If it stays and holds there and does not reverse off of it, we need to continue further with the adjustments. And we need to keep adjusting. So to adjust your, your down stop there, so that way it'll reverse off of a two by four object, uh, go ahead and increase your down limit just a couple turns. Um, you, we could probably turn down the down force just a smidge in order to get it to reverse off of an object. And then go ahead and run it down. As you can see now, now with those two little adjustments, it is reversing off of an a inch and a half thick object, which is what you're shooting for. After testing that force where you're catching the door in both directions, in the down and up direction, if, if it's pushing too hard or not hard enough, um, what you need to do is come back here to these force settings that are on the back of the garage door. You've got your open and your close. The higher you turn it, the, the harder it's going to push and vice versa. If you go down, the, the less hard it's going to push. So let's say that it's pushing just a little bit too, a little bit too hard. So what you do is you take it from uh, a one or two and turn it down just a bit. And it's same with the other direction. Move in small increments here. You don't want to go from a one to a nine, otherwise it, it's, it's just going to be too big of a jump. Again, I'm Jake with Specialized Garage Doors in Salt Lake City, and we've just discussed how to adjust the tension on your garage door opener.